Hey, good morning. Welcome to the uh, final day of June 2014. This is the episode that changes nothing because I'm in Grand Rapids. So what's going on, man? Not much. Um, you're cool. I'm trying to think. There's various topics running through my head right now. I guess I'll talk about Shin Megami Tensei De Digital Devil Nipple. I'm just thinking. I'm about 10 hours into this game. 10, 10 15 hours in this game. And I'm liking it. It's fun. It's a classic PS2 game, you know. It's it's fun stuff. Uh, it's so weird how certain old games will hold up. Some games are just like complete shit. Like you don't want to go back and play. Uh, like I couldn't go back and play like Matrix. Uh, what was the game? The Matrix. Game? Enter the Matrix. I couldn't go back and play that game. Um, I couldn't go back and play Siphon Filter. There's certain games you just can't go back and play. It's so weird because RPGs tend to hold up better in that department. But, yeah. Aside from Psych, uh, the, it's pretty good. Um, fucking cold. My hair's looking stupid. Why does it look so stupid right now? The Shin Megami Digital Devil Saga. It's different. It's a lot different than... Cause I, let's be honest here, I haven't played that many Shin Megami games. I've played Persona 3, Persona 4, obviously. Um, Devil Survivor. And I've also played... Digital Devil Saga. So, this is my fourth game in the series that I've played. I think. Am I missing something? No. I think that's it. But, this one's different because you don't summon demons and you actually are the demon. Um, basically, you turn into the demon and then you can turn back into human if you want to. Which, it's very rare that you'd want to because all humans really have are guns and guns are only useful against certain types of enemies. So, it's like, I get occasionally... There might be a boss or something, or something where you might have to. I was reading online a couple enemies that you should switch to human form because they are weak to piercing attacks, and piercing attacks are done by guns, so you've got that. Um, but ultimately, it's just it's just kind of like a little gimmick. Occasionally, en enemies will ambush you, and you'll be stuck in human mode first instead of your demon mode, which... It's different. Um, I mean, the main... I don't know. I kind of like the system because what they have is the... Uh, what is it called? The karma system? The... Chakra system? I think it's the, ch the chakra. No, it's called karma, isn't it? There's karma. I don't know. You basically have a sphere grid. And, um, you can teach any of your characters any of the moves, so, like, let's say you wanted your main guy to be, like, a, like a healing magic guy with really good fire magic, you could do that. Um, and then, like, let's say you wanted to make your second dude, like, a, uh, like a, like a stat element guy, like, he can only throw stat his elements out and heal people or something, you know? It's cool that they give you the variety that you can build your character that way. And I guess, for the most part, the Shin Megami games that I have played... Oh, you know, I've played Shin Megami Tensei 4 also. So, this is my fifth game in the series. So, it's, it's, it's sort of the same in that regard that when you level up, you can distribute your stat points and level up the way you want to level up. I noticed I've been playing these games sort of similar. I level up my strength and my luck just so I can get higher critical damage, which I don't even know if that works, to be honest. I hope it works. I mean, it's a lot of wasted stat points with the vision, but... I don't know. 
it's pretty fun. Gameplay wise, it's, I mean, okay, so what is this game exactly? Because like I was so confused. A lot of the games are very linear. Like, for example, Persona Three. And I guess four to an extent. You have your map. You have your areas within that map, and then you have like one dungeon on the map at a time. So like in Persona Three, you had Tartarus, which was a giant 250 floors tower. That was your dungeon you'd go to. In Persona Four. The dungeon changed every couple of months, so you would tend to. It was. Let's just be honest here. It was the same dungeon. They just reskinned it, redid it, and it's the same area map. So you did that. Um, Devil Survivor, I believe. You had a, a list of cities inside of Japan, and you would go from city to city and fight enemies. So, like, basically, yeah, like a mission would pop up on the name next to the. And an icon would pop next to the mission name, map. next to the map, and then, yeah, you basically, yeah, I would say, like, Ikibukuru, there's a new mission here, go there, um, Shibuya has a new mission, let's go there, stuff like that, and then Shin Megami Tensei 4 is probably the most open of the Shin Megami games I've played, you start off in, like, a city, which is just, like, again, like, another list of names of districts you can go to within the city, and each of them have different guys you can talk to, stores and stuff like that. Then you would basically go out to... Once you get to the bottom of the first dungeon, it opened up an overworld map. Because the whole idea of Shin Megami Tensei 4 is that you're in this mirrored version of your kingdom. You're in Tokyo, Japan. It's like post-apocalyptic post Tokyo, though. So, I don't really know what's going on there. I can't really spoil anything, so... Basically, yeah, you just had an overworld, typical JRPG stuff. You walk around a map and go from city to city and kill dungeons and stuff. But this game, you have like five, I guess, areas on the map. Basically, your headquarters, enemy, and then the four other enemy headquarters. And then, like, I think like a tower, like where the, the, like the god of the world is or whatever. So you've got all that. Um... And then, so like, let's say, the main goal of the game so far is your your gang is trying to take out all these other four gangs. Because once you take out all the gangs in the world, which is like five gangs, so that's not too bad, you'll basically ascend to Nirvana. And you basically, so far I've had to go to one of the enemy's base, which then we allied with them, and then we went and took out another base. And then once we took out that base, we went back to first base, then after we took out that base, we went to, I think, a third base. So yeah, we've been to, like, a total of three of, like, six locations so far. Um, it's pretty cool. It's not bad. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a puzzle guy. The pu the, I guess the puzzles really aren't that bad. I just, it's so weird. You, I play a lot of, like, linear RPGs, so it's, when you go from linear to, like, non-linear to linear to linear, I don't know. There's your, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about, to be honest. Shin Megami. Virtual Devil is pretty good. I'm liking it. I'll beat it. And then after that, we'll be starting up Volume 2, which will be fun. Yeah. Alright, so this was June 30th. I'm gonna finish these graham crackers and try to wake up a little bit. Because I'm pretty dead. Alright, bye-bye.